alternative conversation with the Glay Lilic. I have proof I need to demolish that Tower of Death. This is a goodbye then, Artemi Burach. Over the last few days you've become significant to me. It's the one person I care about. How did I manage that? A deep respect open minded people, unconstrained by whatever it is imposed upon them, capable of finding less obvious connections. It's like little poets have, and staff surgeons, it seems. What's the word? People call us by different names. Depends if the treatment worked. Well, let us part as friends. For the first time I say this to someone I wanted to create patterns with. What's wrong? Today I will be killed. How'd you know? Call it a hunch. What for? The military would never miss a shot at an Inquisitor. We always hinder their advances. Pay us back in kind. I know they have the order. They must. This isn't my first year on the job. You need to flee, then. I have thought about it. Send a carry in my place, or better yet, three, but no. It would be cowardice. Give me the papers, I'll take them to the town hall. You'll get arrested immediately. Can you afford that? No. Fleeing, what's the point? What is there for me to flee to? We live in a large country, lots of places to lie low for a bit. With a mind like yours, creating new life will be simple. You've turned my world upside down again, Artemi Burdak. Self taught, backwards surgeon. Fine, I'll send three couriers with papers to the headquarters. I'll leave town tonight. I have that option, but only if you come with me. Why would you want me? Because I can tell that we need each other. No two people could be more unlike one another. We could have an interesting life together. I can see it, you can see it, with your heart in the lines. The Glaylu, commissar of the omnipotent powers that be in Artemy Burak, and a scab shed from the body of a godforsaken people. A brilliant couple. Do you know why I marked you amongst many others? You gave me the key. You showed me that people can simply disregard those who pull their strings, those who set the path for you. They tell you what victory is, but it's a lie. It rings false. True victory is breaking through the walls, changing the rules of the game. Come on, make up your mind. What about the children? Wake up, Burak. There are no children. None of this is real. What about the tower? What if your killery has failed to deliver the papers? The town is in chaos. To hell with the tower. An hour ago, I wished to settle the score with those who sent me here, irreversibly stifling my fate. Now, I don't care. Something unique occurred during our conversation. Something so important, I'm comfortable changing my plans. It's happening to you, too. Don't deny it. Alright, I made up my mind. Let's defy fate. Let's flee. Good. Yes, it's the right thing to do. Great. The train will wait for us by the passenger station at two in the morning. I'll meet you there. I'll see you. never happened to me before. So she's a reflection too, huh? Surprising. Seemed like the Taiki wouldn't be reflected in mirrors. Am I not human? I'm trying to convince grief for all puppets, so you must be one of the ones who consider themselves a puppeteer. Something strange is happening to me. I could put it into words, and yet I do not have the words. It's weakness. I must purge it from my heart. The words you choose don't matter. What matters is always a glimpse between them anyway. <laughs> speak to me. What's about? I don't know. Just speak. Touch me with your words. Which words do you wish me to touch you with? I don't care, I mean, no, I, I do care. I can't talk about it. Have you fallen in love somehow? Perhaps. Yes, you may be right. Enough, this is weakness, no more. I refuse it, no means no, and this is the final word I'll speak to myself. I'm sorry, Reflection, I really, truly am. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you waited. We both did. I believe it's right. We'll make our own path from now on. This is the ultimate freedom, I think. To pass from the tracks someone has laid from you. So you're in no danger now? I ask no questions. Trust me. It's not about trust. to simply realize there was... Nothing was holding me back there anymore. I've done all I could. All right. Go into the train car. I'll be right behind you. As you say. I'm happy I got to meet you, Burak. You're a very special person. You were wrong. 
It belonged to different work. So are you? No, you're a full-fledged human being. We are taught that humans are processes. Only half will help this process at a very early stage. Another half will even regress after growing up, shedding what little progress they made in childhood. It's hard to grow. You can trust me on this, Bedak. I'd say you'd make a fine inquisitor, but no, you wouldn't actually. Your tools are different. You don't use our mode of analysis, but you still see the big picture. And the dots is the foundation of our work. Tell me about your book. It's a story too long to be told short. Build out a map of facts and conclusions, then snap a picture of them. Keeping in mind that facts too are processes. They change over time. And you tease out connections from one to the other. Sounds familiar. Perhaps a great bull, Boz Turok, has come to bid us farewell. They do that. A dream where one derailed my train an eternity ago now. Move aside. I'm a doctor, sanitary inspector, and are you infected among you? Who's that with you? My wife. Destination? We have an order from General Block. Hey, over there. What are you waiting for? Seize her! The Inquisitor has finished her job here. She's returning to the capital. I'm her escort. Step aside. We'll talk to you later. No, we'll talk now. There are no infected people among us. You're free to go, Doctor. Return to the town. What for? Quarantine breach. And there was a special order regarding the Inquisitor. As I said, you're free to go. The town's to the north. I won't repeat myself a third time. You won't live to see tomorrow. Come on. No. I can't. I cannot fire. No. It won't let me. Farewell. Fuck it. She deserved better. No, nothing. Slightly different end. This is what happens when we decide that Formano Yun is not worth his life. Unfortunate end for what may have otherwise been a good man. Well, was he a good man? To 
debatable. What matters is that you understood something. Your cow would occur. You didn't confess immediately. I have no attachment to this life. I wanted you to understand. If you rushed and killed me too early, you would regret it later. Speak. Whether you die or kill, you touch death. What matters is what you understand in that crucial moment. If you understand too little, you won't survive this fleeting touch. Whether you kill or die, you still won't. That is what the elders say. <coughs> I cannot do this voice. What else do they say? That everyone should do what they must. And settle debt? I don't value my life, kindred. I want to die. My guilt is heavy, and conscience eats at me from the inside like sand past. Mother Bodo's warm flesh will soon soothe me. Do what you must, and lay me down. Let it be so. Prepare to die. grave amongst many. What good did it do? What good did any of this do? 